simulate, oh dear me, nothing's going right. That's not my flow. It is Hey guys, this is A. Renee from Journal Jot and Jive. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, welcome to the channel if you're a returning subscriber. Hey y'all. All right, today is Thursday. It is February 13th. And today we are gonna focus on a work journal. And we're gonna talk about having a work journal, uh, discussing if you use a work journal. Hopefully you'll comment that in the section below. So by the title, setting up my work journal in my planner something like that you'll see journal work planner something in the title like that okay so y'all let's just go ahead and talk about work journals and why I use them and how I fell off and how I know that I need to jump back on the work journal bandwagon all right so Writing in a journal, most of us know, is pretty much writing your feelings, how you doing, what's working, what's not, what needs adjusting, if you're using that formula. Otherwise, most people's journals kind of simulate, oh, dear me, nothing's going right. That's not my flow. It doesn't need to be, be my flow. But I will say, I have not been effectively journaling about journal jot and jive like I need to and or hair by A. Renee, if we're just going to be 100% transparent. And what happens is instead of getting all of those thoughts out of my head, they stay in my head, it's too much going on, and then I get frustrated. So I, let's just talk about, I've you know, broke up with Journal Jot and Jive like once a month, okay? Y'all don't know it, but I do. And so I said, all right, so what are we gonna do differently so that I am not just falling out of love with something that I genuinely love because I'm not working through the process and writing the things about my journey with journal jot and jive so what we have right here is my planner i decided to do a separate work planner for hair that's a total different entity and then a work planner for journal jot and jive that's also aside from my catch-all planner i can't have them all in the same area because it just doesn't work right so of course i'll have a couple of inserts this is what you call a tn and so a TN allows me to have several different workbooks within the inside. Some people like traveler's notebooks, some people can't work, it ain't their jam. I'm pretty flexible with almost any kind of planner. If I'm just gonna be, I just like paper, give me some paper, I can write it down. But I did want to have separate books for what I needed them for, okay? So I have like a monthly calendar. And I'm just setting these up, y'all, because I finally decided, like, girl, stop trying to do everything in one situation. So right now, just has a couple of things down. And I would even keep a small journal moment in here. So I'll go and write something motivational. Typically, you will see my word of the year. So action will be on here somewhere. And then you go over and I have a expense tracker. And y'all can pretty much see this because right now I have to go and backlog. And so this allows you to see your daily sales. So this is what I'm talking about right now is for an entrepreneur, but the work journal can apply to whether you work a nine to five or entrepreneur. And we'll get into that briefly. Just kind of giving y'all a setup of how I keep up with things. And then my next uh, entry is entry. My next booklet is my social media tracker and this is where I kind of write the ideas of what videos I'm going to do take a couple of notes some things that needs to be done and right here you see the business journal setup so we were already in queue to talk about this and then you go to this back book and I don't think I can show everything on there which you can't it just gives like ideas it's for brain dumps okay so that's that and so we'll close this and then I'll have the booklet for my journal entries. And as I said briefly, y'all, I just cannot keep going back and forth with this love-hate relationship with Journal Jive Jive. So I'm like, we got to work through some things. And so I just was having to come to Adrian meeting and I was like, you know, you don't like the flow right now and you have to take ownership of why things aren't flowing like they need to be and you need to write about it. You need to stop acting and running away from it. So I was like, all right, we're going to separate. Oh, y'all heard some stuff all in the corner. Y'all did. Um, we need to separate out my regular journal from my work journal. I need to see things unfold. I need to see the great, the good, and the not so good, okay? And so I have two inserts 
that I'm trying to decide which one I want to use. Y'all know I'm here for a good dot grid all of the time. I kind of like these little boxes for creativity. But then I have this for notes. So I was going back and forth, back and forth, but I think we are gonna roll with this one for my journal. And then this one I can kind of write notes in as far as journal prompts, uh, just a whole bunch of stuff, okay? So let's move that to the side. All right, some of you are gonna ask what insert this is from. This is the 1407 planner. That's all y'all get off of that, okay? Uh, yeah. Anyway, this is my work journal. This will be my work journal. So what I'm gonna do, what I do like is they keep it blank so you can decorate it however you want to. I am gonna cover the outside of this. And then on the inside is where the journal moments will occur. I'll cover that up and do a couple of things. So I believe this is gonna be a you watch me kind of set it up, I think. Cause I don't know if I can create that much conversation while I'm trying to do this. So I am gonna set this up and then I should be able to come back and let you know what are some of the type of things that you can keep inside of your journal. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, y'all so I have done the base like just you know the decor stuff this is not the inside of the journal so what will happen is I will go in here and when I need to write a journal moment I will date it if necessary and I'm gonna write a couple of things I'm gonna write what are some of my goals and break down the goals like how I would like them to see manifestation writing uh, almost writing it before it even happens. I'm gonna write when things don't feel right, they're not going right, and I'm gonna take accountability, okay? So for example, yesterday when I broke up with Journal Jot and Jive, like I told y'all earlier in the video, uh, I just was like, oh, I'm over it. I, I, I'm over it, uh, I'm over it, okay? I'm like, I just don't see the engagement that I want, and then I said, ah! I had to slam on the brakes, Slam on the brakes. I slammed on the brakes and I said, girl, okay, so let's do a little rational thinking. What are you not doing to cultivate? And one of the biggest things that I do is when I don't see the results that I would like to see, I have a tendency to pull back and focus on other stuff. 
I will help other people with their business. I'll help my friends with their life. And I'll let things fall by the wayside when all I need to do is kind of tweak some things around, right? Like, okay, you can do this a little different. You can go research how to do this. And instead of putting in that extra little bit of work to get the results that I desire, I retreat, okay? And retreating is good in some situations, but when you are an entrepreneur, retreating is not what you need to do. So... That's when I say, you know what you have not been doing? You haven't been writing down the things that need to happen, what's going on in your world, and you got an attitude, and, and it's you. It's you, boo. It's you. Like, this is me. I'll talk to myself. But talking to myself needs to be in here because, again, what happens is all of these things play in my head. I'm not good enough. Um, I, I'm not growing. And though we know those things aren't always true, we live in a society where instant gratification says, oh, you're not doing good enough. You don't have enough likes. You don't have X, Y, and Z. And I saw a post that said, likes don't matter if the profit don't match. Okay? Say that again. Likes don't matter if the profit doesn't match. So I can have all the likes in the world, but that does not mean that that's going to compute into the sales and into the things that I need for journal jot and job to blossom. So yeah, I said, girl, it's time to get back in your journal, do some reflective moments, some learning moments. So this is a really good thing to have as a work journal. Now, with that being said, because some of y'all like, girl, I don't have no business. So what what does that have to do with me? Uh, A lot. You can take the same principles and apply it to your job. So often on social media, y'all, I hear I hate my job. I hate Mondays. Yay, it's Friday. And y'all, I've been on social media as far as Journal Jot and Job is concerned for almost five years. And uh, some of the same people are still talking about jobs you don't like. And baby girl, baby guy, because some guys complain too. Let's kind of refocus and look at what can you do differently. What are you good at? What do you bring to the table for your job? What do you not bring to the table for your job? Why don't you like your job? And if you do not like your situation, why aren't you willing to change it, okay? So these are where journal moments come in. And not to mention, you don't want your whole work journal to be woe me. You want to be able to see the elevation in your life, some goals that you have set for work. Uh, If you have contributed something and you did something well, why not write it? Because what happens is when it's time for you to move on or apply for another job, y'all know those job applications and you know those interviews and they get in there and they say, well, what did you contribute to the job? And you sitting there looking like a deer in headlights because for the past five years, all you've been doing is complaining and you haven't been writing those extra tasks that your boss gave. Uh, how you accomplished a project, how you rocked your presentation. You didn't write all that because all you wanted to do was complain. So maybe consider having a separate journal specifically for work. So for 2020, if your goal is to get out of Dodge, you need to know A, your why. If you're applying for jobs, what are you applying for? You may very well keep a work journal just to document your your work um not your work. You're applying for jobs, right? You need to keep up. Cause I remember when I thought I was going back to a nine to five and y'all realistically, my personality has never been designed for a nine by a nine to five. Not that I think I'm better because I'm not, I'm just wired to be self-employed. However, while I was on that job search, I learned quite a bit. And one of those things is keeping up with what you're doing, keeping up with what you're applying for, knowing what you're good at, And that applies to being an entrepreneur because at the end of the day, I'm going to say this to entrepreneurs because y'all are getting real cocky with the go work for yourself mentality. Think about this. If you didn't have people working a nine to five, they wouldn't make the money to buy into your job. I mean, to buy into your, what you're selling. So humble yourselves a little bit. Maybe you need to write that in your journal. Everything works hand in hand. As an entrepreneur, I have to buy from a company who has people that work nine to five to fill the orders for the things that I need. So a lot of this just kind of brought me to reality. And I was like, let me share this with y'all. Get you a work journal going. If you're a stay at home mama, that's job. Okay. Don't let nobody tell you any, any different. Uh, you can pay me $50 million to stay at home because y'all are amazing. I admire you. That is a job. So even if you wanted to write your process with that down, a work journal is something awesome to have. 
And so y'all, I'll be filling this out for work. I'll actually be printing out my logo so that will go in here. So I may at some point in the community tab write that. All right, so we're gonna wrap this video up. Let me know if you have a work journal and if you don't, have you been inspired by this video to possibly start a work journal? If you aren't liking your job currently, all right, that's fine. Write about it and then write about how you're gonna change it, all right? That's your assignment for the day. I will see y'all tomorrow because guess what? The 14 day journal challenge is coming out and I'll actually be journaling in my B6 for 14 days. Y'all will have a video for each journal prompt, but you will have to buy the journal prompts, y'all. I'm gonna develop them on screen, but I may not show what the actual prompt says. So stay tuned for those. If you are in the Facebook group, they will be released earlier. If not, you will see them on here tomorrow and on Instagram, okay? So I enjoyed this video. I hope you did too. Leave a comment in the section and I will catch you on the next one.